Hi, this is Arno. Welcome to the channel. Today we'll be talking about the interesting Peepit project. So Peepit is a project which I found out randomly and it seemed really interesting to me and it is basically a decentralized Twitter and uh, it is using the blockchain in a very good way and it is using state channels as well. So I decided to make a video explaining how it works, how the platform works out and how the technical aspect also works out. So yeah, uh, let's talk about Peepit today. So if you go to, if you will sign up and create an account on Peepit, you would find a homepage in which you would see people uh, posting. You will see people peeps. And like in this case, um, I just peeped out thanks to someone and he was, he made a good summary. So I made a thanks to him. And uh, yeah, so you, you see people's post here and say, uh, I, this is another post love SpaceX launches. I can write totally. Um, yeah, so I, I posted this as well. And this gets stored on Peepit's server, peepit.com centralized server. And I have the option to save it to the blockchain. So say if I go to save to blockchain, I click on save to blockchain and I'll get options like uh, how much gas price that I want to pay. So if I click, click advance, I'll find that the current gas price of 0 0.1 faster is uh, five guai and finally it's six guai. And I think currently the network isn't that much clogged um, and I can on clicking advanced, I can actually ha I have the option to uh, customize it as well. So I can choose maybe one guai. So that is how it works out. And uh, you can on the platform, there are actually three, four things that you can do. Say I I like this post so I can retweet it and or repeat it so as to speak. And or I can even um, give tip to the person. So, OK, so this was my post itself, um, which I retweeted. Um, I can give a tip. So and there is an option that you can tip five dollars, one dollar. The minimum is one dollar. It goes up to five hundred dollars. So you can tip this much to a person. Uh, say I'll 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 post this video on Peepit as well. And if you actually make an account and sign in, you can actually tip my post if you like my content. So that is how it works out. And uh, like say if I go to my profile. which is peepit.com slash Arnav, which is my username. Um, there is some basic intro that I have and the, there are these are the messages that I've tweeted or uh, retweeted or peeped or repeeped so as to speak. And uh, these are like the people that I that follow me. So call me Guai is one person who follows me. And there are like two people uh, which I'm following. So this is like say uh, Bevan Barton is the founder of Peepit. Um, say I like some of his posts or maybe I like call me Guai's blogs. So let me go to call me Guai. So he posted this link of his uh, blog, which you should definitely check out. Then I can tip him. So say I am willing to tip him $1. So I send the tip to him and uh, that doesn't get saved to the blockchain okay the tip has to be uh, instant so i can tip him maybe say one dollars and that i need to sign the transaction as well so um, i've kept the gas price to be very minimal i think we need to increase it 1.1 would be good so i click on submit and this transaction then gets um, on the blockchain it is now uh, it has been communicated to the miners and um, a good miner should pick it up and mine it in the next block so that is how that works out and uh, yeah it's super interesting it uses the blockchain in an interesting way and uh, if we if we go to P, uh, the main home page i think i still have the pending transactions so tipping transaction is the one which happens which has to happen instantly it can't be stored obviously on the uh, people.com server because basically you're just giving away ether um, and say i now want to save my earlier three actions as well to the blockchain i need to click on save to blockchain i can i would like to go to advanced and select my the amount of guai say i want 1.1 guai 
um, yeah so I, I can go here and click on send and pay and I would need to sign the transaction as well in this case it says 1.1 GUI or 0.01 USD I think we can surely increase the gas limit it is super low it will take a lot of time I can increase it to say faster 4 GUI so yeah I don't want this transaction so that is also now on the blockchain and we can see on etherscan so the tipping one um it would take some time i think um the gas price was 1.1 guai um but okay so that is confirmed um and that is this transfer of one dollar and that transaction is now cons confirmed so if we go to the transaction hash um we can actually access the transaction or if I go to my address, uh, you'll find that this is the one that actually went out. So I was I was able to tip that guy and my transactions on the uh, blockchain um, were also mined. So that is how it works out. It is super cool um, and definitely worth, work, uh, worth checking. And what you can even have a look at is how it works. So if we go to the about section, we would find that um, Unstoppable microblogging, uh, people is a decentralized alternative to Twitter. It's unstoppable and uncensorable because it runs on the Ethereum blockchain. No company or government controls the data on people. And uh, you would find uh, the main USP is that that no company or government controls the data on people. You have the full power of your data and how the things work out. No one can do shady stuff. Like say on normal Twitter, if we have a party called Congress and we have another political party called BJP, say the BJP guys strike a deal with the Congress guys that let's, uh, they say the BJP guys strike a deal with Twitter that you should not promote any post of the other political party called Congress. Then that is not cool. But in this scenario, if all the things are on the blockchain, if everything is open, no, nothing of such sort can happen. So that is the main USP. And obviously with the Facebook scandal that is uh, happening right now. So that portion also that you have the control of the data is also super cool. And uh, yeah, it's just that you need to pay some gas cost. Like in the previous case, I paid like uh, four cents or something like that for my um, transaction to be mined to be written on the blockchain and uh, it is super easy and efficient um, it is nearly free, free to use because it lets you bulk save actions to the blockchain in a single cheap transaction and uh, people it works just like twitter um, yeah and you can monetize so like you have the concept of tips you can receive ether and tips if people like your content and everything is open and stored on the blockchain and uh, yeah, that is uh, if we move on to how it works a bit more technically. So it has two components. It has the Ethereum blockchain, which is a data storage, sort of like the back end. And people.com is a front end. And all the data is stored on the smart contract. And what actually gets stored is a link to the data. And the data is stored in the decentralized data store, which is the IPFS. And uh, we they don't store the data on the blockchain because that would be super duper expensive and uh, that is how it works out so what happens is uh, all the data is the link to the data is on the smart contract and the people.com guy has put up a website and a centralized uh, server that reads that data from the smart contract and it shows it on the front end which is people.com but anyone would be able to do that as well so say i become super big i have 1 million subscribers and i want to start my own um, competitor to people.com so I would just I can actually uh, create a competitor I would just need to create a front end that interacts with the smart contract and I get all my subscribers that maybe were using people as well to my new site maybe say arnavpeep.com or what, whatever so that is how it works out and uh, people.com is centralized it can be central and taken down however if it does go down anybody can create another front end and restore the backend's incorruptible data so yeah uh, anyone can do that and how does bulk posting work so i showed you the example in which i posted three transactions simultaneously on the blockchain 
and what happened was uh, all that data was stored in a central ser- place so i think it is stored in the central server of pipit.com but uh, or they are using state channels but i don't know that i think it's the central server um but all our data sto- get stored in a central place and when i decide that i wanted now to go on the blockchain i have made like say 10 15 transactions i can do that now i i just need to um bash them together and push them to the blockchain at once so i save on a lot of transaction costs i don't need to pay for 15 times into point uh, into 4 cents i can just pay one time into 4 cents so that is how bulk posting works and they are explaining how does the sign up work and all that and uh, there are instructions to start your own front end as well that they have written on the website and uh, yeah that is how pipit works and it has only 1715 peeps till now and uh, 227 active users and uh, if you want if you like pipit and you want to promote such projects i would highly recommend to give a donation so there is a link of the address that you can do- donate on pipit and uh, there the, the guy the founder will give you badges as well which you can show off to your friends like if you give give 100 eth or something or more than that uh between 100 to 1000 eth you will get the visionary badge and so on and so forth so that is super cool i i really like pipit and i hope it uh gets new features and uh, it it has some good filtering mechanisms as well because currently it's the mechanism filtering isn't that great so i really hope that like say if i search for something um, if i search for a person the search isn't that great it doesn't the dart name is not registered so you need to hit the search uh, on the full to be able to get to a person so like if i hit say if i write h a n n nothing shows up but if i write h a n n a h um i'll get the link to hana um, and her page so obviously yeah we the search has to be improved there are a lot of innovations that need to be done but it is a good start and an interesting project so yeah hope you learned something about pipit and like my content and if you did please hit the like button and the subscribe button and consider making a donation as well till the next time this is arnav saying bye bye